for Vladisberg. Sees the opening. Monica Wright delivers again. Michael Firestone. Virginia wins. The Cavaliers are going to the College World Series. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. Got to get the shot off. Two seconds to go. Zaglinski launches it. Got it! Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Dave Kane. It was a week dominated by ACC basketball and signing day on Wednesday. We've got those stories, but first, your play of the week. They may not be able to make a comeback against Virginia because they can't handle the ball. Zaglinski feeds to Mienzi and he throws it down with a two-hand jam with a foul. Whenever he passes it to me and I get a dunk, we call it the zaglinski Mienzi connection. And uh, that's probably the best one that we've had so far, but it's a great dunk. Job of getting back, but Gonzalez alone for three. His shot ripped halfway in and out. It's going to be kept alive by Lannisburg. Tips it ahead to Farrakhan. He's going to throw it down with a one-hand jam. Now we can get excited. Finally, we played. We played 33 minutes, and we finally had something to get excited about in this game. This place is about ready to erupt. It was with a foul on top of it. That was the proverbial facial a la Mustafa Farrakhan right over Javier Gonzalez trying to get out of the way of the oncoming train. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly has been brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. Live solid, bank solid. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Zaglinski feeds to Mienzi, and he throws it down with a two-hand jam with a foul. It's Jerome Mienzi right there, and then you got to really take your hat off to what he's done. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back. Our men's basketball team started out a busy week in Chapel Hill and then finished it up at home. Let's check out the game stories. Heels last in the conference in turnover margin. Here's a nice play by Sylvan Landisberg as he glides inside. He'll send it to Landisberg. Landisberg knifes his way down the lane, floats it off the window and good using the left hand. What a play. So here comes Virginia on the other side. So not so lucky as Landisberg attacks the rack and lays it in with a reverse layup using the right hand. What a play. Already eight points for Sylvan Landisberg. Guys played well. Sylvan had a terrific game. Uh, Sammy stepped up. A lot of guys stepped up. Who's told us, you know, the only way to get better is to you know learn off that learn off that game and uh, just keep moving. So uh, you know we hit it hard in practice the rest of the week. Uh, we, everyone was you know doing what they could and uh, you know I think it showed today in the game. 28 to 24, 435 to go here. Evans attacks underneath and he lays it off the window as he slashes through the defense. 153 to go now. Opening half is Mustafa Farrakhan knifes into the lane, feeds out. Landisberg knocks down a three-pointer from the near wing right. Here's Landisberg with a top of the arc, slings the pass. Mike Scott alone from three. He fires it up and knocks it down. We just wanted to get good shots. We really talked about cutting hard and moving hard. And, and I knew we'd need to make some outside shots. And, you know, we were 7-17 seven to 17 from three. That helped. But our guys, I thought they made the next pass more than we have in the past. We draw into the gap and kick it to the open guy. And that really helps because then guys get the rhythm shots. We didn't force the action. Feeds to Zaglinski. He fires one up from three. Got it. Sammy Zaglinski drills it from the near side left. And it's an eight-point lead for Virginia. Shooting it. They have a chance. To and a turnover. Graves has it tipped away from behind into Lannisburg's hands. Two on one. He'll take it all the way to the rack. Got it. 
Scott with a foul! Inbound pass to Mienzi. He sends out to Scott. Scott has it near wing left. Passes back to Zaglinski. Fires off a three-pointer, and he rattles it through from the near corner. Oh, Virginia's feeling it now! We just wanted to come out in the second half and just really get in them defensively and make everything hard, make everything hard for them, uh, make them work to get shots. And um, I thought we did a good job with rotating and helping each other on the defensive end. And uh, yeah, we made, it, we made a nice statement in the second half coming out like that. Feeds it to Henson. Henson gets his man in the air. He goes into the air and he misses a wild shot. Rebound to Lannisburg, ahead of the pack to Evans and Evans shot rejected from behind. Very close to goaltending and they are gonna say that was goaltending. They may not be able to make a comeback against Virginia because they can't handle the ball. Zaglinski feeds to Mienzi and he throws it down with a two-hand jam with a foul! Whenever he passes it to me and I get a dunk, we call it the zaglinski mienzi connection. And uh, that's probably the best one that we've had so far, but it's a great dunk. He rolled his ankle in practice the other day, so he wasn't feeling 100%, but I think the adrenaline carried him, and he's just, uh, when you see a senior do that, Calvin steadied us at the end. Um, it was good to see, and Jerome's uh, contributions have been huge this year. Right now to Evans, they cycle it near side. Lannisburg pulls up just inside the yard, and he splashes it through. Big time shot from Sylvan Lannisburg. Going against Strickland, Drew, McDonald, Davis, and Graves for the Tar Heels as the pass will come to Evans' near side. Sends it to Zaglinski, squeezes off a three ball, and he cans it from the near side. Sammy's got four three-pointers, and Virginia leads by 18. Strickland with 3.09 to go, dumps it down low. Virginia leading by 18. Davis is stripped by Zaglinski. He comes away with another turnover, and I'll tell you what, there's blood in the water now. Now passes off to Evans, three to shoot. Zaglinski has it, launches up a three ball with a hand in his face, and he drills it. The dagger from Sammy Zaglinski with 1.09 to go. I told our guys, this will reveal a lot. Not many teams would come in here and compete the way they did. A lot of them would kind of be hanging their head, and, and they didn't. And uh, I respect that a lot, and I'm so happy for them. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful building, and uh, for us to come in here, come away with a win is, is important for us. State will have it go in the other direction. That one was just about as good as in, but here's on the other side an open look, and Gonzalez will make his shot. 10 seconds to shoot, 10 43 to play, opening half, 17 11 game. Landisburg pump fakes from the elbow, puts the shot up, cut it with a foul. Very Gets smart his play. man in the air, and then he powers the shot up anyway. Virginia down by five with the ball, 6.54 to go, opening half action. Farrakhan feeds to Sherrill. He's going to flick the wrist again from three, and this time he touches the bottom of the net. Here's Wood passing down low to Smith. Smith puts up a shot inside, and he gets it to drop. So Tracy Smith hits his fourth. Not bad for a walk. Oh. No. Farrakhan. Oh. With his first oh. tonight. 15 on the shot clock. Began in the lane. So to look away and then the finish. Silva defended on the outside by Wood. Puts it on the floor. Now passes inside in the paint. Mienzi muscles it up in traffic with a foul. I saw every time I touched the ball, everybody was shading over to, towards my side, so it really, I wasn't getting an open look tonight. I used what they were doing uh, to try to stop me against them. Instead of, uh, you know, forcing the issue against uh, two, three, or four players, uh, you know, I just um, attack and make draw the defenders and, uh, you know, find the open man. We were real indecisive in the first half, way too many points in the paint, uh, didn't have a sense of urgency. And, um, you know, at halftime, I really challenged them hard. I said, that's not who we are or who we have to be. And uh, they, they worked a lot harder. They were on more. Uh, they were more together defensively. And I thought, um, you know, with, with some guys being a little cold, uh, that second half defensively won it for us. And um, I, I like to see that. That was that was good. How how much they battled. Takes it in, now feeds out. Gonzalez fires it up from three, too strong. Rebound taken away from Howe by Landisburg, and Virginia looks to run. Pass ahead of the group to Zaglinski. Pulls up, knocks down a 15-foot jumper, and Virginia has retaken the lead.
Marcon will give it to Landisberg inside of 10 seconds to shoot. Nice move by Landisberg, kicks it out to Zaglinski, fires it up from three off the back end of the iron, no good. Fighting for the rebound, Mienzi gets it, he puts it on the floor, powers it up and in with a foul! Jerome doing what Jerome does, he's been great. I thought we responded nicely at halftime because yeah, we could have let this one get away because we were we were a little, little lethargic in the first half, but uh, we responded well. Silver so Landisberg at the top of the circle, dribbled with a right hand defended by Davis. He looks to go to work, feeds off to Farrakhan, flicks the wrist from three, and he bangs it home from the far side. It felt good. Uh, I've just been uh, getting a lot of shots up and uh, working at it, and uh, it's just, it just was going down for me tonight. Java getting back, but Gonzalez alone from three. His shot ripped halfway in and out. It's going to be kept alive by Landisburg. Tips it ahead to Farrakhan. He's going to throw it down with a one-hand jam. Now we can get excited, finally. Yeah, I just had it in my mind, like, I was just going to make an aggressive play at the rim. Uh, if uh, I knew I had the jumping ability to do it, so I just wanted to just try to make a real aggressive play at the rim. That might have been the nastiest thing i ever seen in my life. I, I know, I, all I saw was I went for the rebound and I couldn't get it, so I tipped it. I think it was over Del Gang, and um, Mustafa got it, so I'm thinking he's just going to lay it up because I saw Gonzalez coming from the other side, so I'm like, all right, who's going to lay it up? And all of a sudden, I just see his feet start stuttering, I'm like, Oh, oh my God, it's going to get bad. I, I, I hope that kid doesn't jump. And then he made an unwise decision, <laughs> and it was it was bad. It was good, got the cry, got us hype. I think that's I think that was a turning point in the whole game, honestly. I don't remember a dunk. I don't remember seeing a dunk that nice um, by a guard just on someone like the way he did it. That was a, that was a huge momentum changer, and uh, the crowd was really into it after that point. Silver Landisberg at the midcourt stripe, now dribbles between the legs, eight seconds to shoot, feeds off, Baker thought about the three, now he dribbles down the lane, feeds out, got to get the shot off, two seconds to go, Zaglinski launches it, got it! The kids have responded, still very early, Doug, you know that, but I, the fact that they've responded and bounced back from a tough loss um, both times and, and just have battled, um, it, it's good, it's a good place to be in, but, but by no means does that mean we've arrived. We. Uh, I just want them to keep, you know, improving. And I thought they they won in a way today that they haven't in the second half. You know, it wasn't some, uh, what was our field goal percentage in the second half? I was solid, but it was more with our defense, with some of our key guys not shooting it well. So that's a good sign. And we won with some foul trouble and um, cold shooting, but the defense clamped down and uh, we'll take it. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Lottery. More than $4 billion to K-12 public education since 1999. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. Our women's basketball team also returned home to take on the Clemson Tigers on Thursday. Let's check out the highlights. He brings it to the left wing and then lobs right wing to Hardy. She jacks another three and it's good again. Second three for Hardy. Now Hardy with it on the left wing will drive with the right hand pull up jumper. Top of the key missed it strong. Rebound Moore. And back we come the other way. Moore tried to feed right and got it to her left side of the lane. Fade away jumper for Monica is money in the bank. Our whole approach tonight was to come out and play a much better game than we did on Sunday. Uh, we just felt like we had a lot to prove to ourselves and to our fans that, you know, we did, that was just a bad day all the way around. And I was glad to see us um, on the boards as well as we were. I thought we defended fairly well tonight, and I was just pleased with our execution offensively, and four people in double figures is really what we are striving for in every game, and it was just good to see players step up and get the job done tonight. Whitney Edwards to inbound. Edwards. Lobs for right, fadeaway jumper right, carry! Oh, oh. Wow! The jumper no good, too strong off the back of the rack. And Veronica right up the left sideline now. Here's right in transition, kicking it right wing. Edwards open for three. Missed it strong off the back of the rim, rebound McCall. Got it back to Edwards, slashing down the lane and laid it in with the left hand. If she has an off day offensively, I can, I can deal with that, but um, really need her to be there defensively and on the boards. And I think tonight she took that to heart and she really stepped up with six, you know, strong boards and played very good defense the whole game. We took uh, Monica off of Hardy for a little while and gave her a little bit of a break, which helps. For the All-American who is on fire in the first half. 
Well, bounce pass to Mason, deep in the lane. Turn around, 10-foot jumper, nice move. They're a scary team. I mean, they, they've won two games in a row and pretty handily. So it's hard to tell. It's hard to say. I just think we got off to a good start. I think our younger players, our younger post players, really stepped up tonight and um, gave us some good inside play. We established an inside game from the start, and I think that really did help us. And 18 for the All-American. We were capable the whole time. It was just a matter of us doing it. And, you know, in practice, we've been shooting very well, and, and we've been going game speed. So, you know, uh, when it comes time for the game, it's almost just like clockwork. It's easy. And, um, I think, you know, a lot of players are starting to understand that now. It took me a while to understand it, too. So, you know, it's only, only natural. Wednesday was college football's National Letter of Intent Signing Day. We caught up with a head football coach, Coach Mike London, who talked about Virginia's 2010 recruiting class. 17 student athletes who I, I think will be very good here at the university that will make the transition to being a student athlete seamlessly. When they come in in, the, in, the, uh, in August and you have a chance to you know, implement the, the schemes and the systems, one, if they can grasp it, two, if athletically, you know, they can do the things that you're asking them to do, and then they can play at a fast tempo, and they're better than the starter or the one that's, uh, or the other two that are, that are in front of him, then uh, you want to play him, and you want to have that opportunity to do so. And a lot of these kids, if they have a chance to play, want to play, but then I think they'd be the first to tell you once they come in, and they look around and they see the talent, you know, sometimes you know, they think it's best they might need to sit for a year. And, and I'm okay with that too because academically, I think, you know, you, you need to build your academic muscles also and have a chance to, to get acclimated to college. Michael Strauss came in mid-semester. Right now he's acclimating into our environment, lifting in school. The other three, Jake McGee, uh, Mike Rocco, and uh, Miles Gooch, they are quarterbacks that are also athletes that have opportunities to play other positions for their high school, but they're accomplished in their own right in being a quarterback. And I just think looking at the quarterback's position where we stand now with a fifth-year senior and then two others in the program that have yet to take a snap, that if you're going to be a quarterback at this program, now's the time to, to, you know, to be one. If we can find you know, one or two that stand out amongst the rest, and then perhaps the other one or two We'll have an opportunity to move to another position to uh, to contribute. You know, I had all the players stand up and introduce themselves, and you know their parents and where they're from. And Ryan stood up and said, uh, "I'm a linebacker, fullback, but I'll play anywhere you want me to play, coach." So, and and obviously, I, I appreciated that. You appreciate players that will go anywhere and play anywhere. And you're right. You, you come from the number one high school in the country, Don Bosco, which is a great great high school program. KP, as we, we call him, is a, is a phenomenal talent. Everyone looks at his uh, on-the-field accomplishments, the rushing yards and the Parade Magazine All-American, the National Player of the Year awards and MVPs and uh, all-star games. But even more than that, he, he's, a, he's a great young man that uh, has an infectious smile. And uh, he's going to be one of those guys going to rally people around him because of his demeanor and, uh, of course, his abilities. I mean, you can knock him down, but he, he'll, boop, he'll pop right back up, and he just goes and goes and goes. Low center of gravity, just he can make a play that looks like two yards, go 22 yards, go 52 yards. I mean, he, he's an exceptional talent. You know, you get him behind those big linemen and, and you run. I mean, you, you know, he's five, five, eight and a half on his tippy toes, but, uh, but I tell you what, he plays like a giant. And, um, you know, I can't wait to, you know, to get him out there and, and, and show people what he has. Coming up after the break. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. The Virginia Cavalier family lost one of its legendary members this week with the passing of Hall of Famer Bullet Bill Dudley. In an era of leather helmets and no face masks, Virginia's Bill Dudley was a gridiron gladiator without equal. As a 19-year-old senior in 1941, Dudley led the nation in points scored with 134, a mark that still stands as Virginia's all-time single season record. His total of 325 all-purpose yards and a Cavalier victory against North Carolina also stood as the Virginia single game record for 58 years. He also finished fifth in balloting for the Heisman Trophy in 1941. 
Bullet Bill Dudley's career in football was marked by a number of firsts. A great runner, passer, kicker, return specialist, and defensive player, Dudley was the first Virginia football player to have his number retired. He was the first overall player selected in the 1942 NFL Draft, and after serving in the Army Air Corps during World War II, he joined the Pittsburgh Steelers and was first in the NFL in 1946 in rushing, punt returns, and interceptions. Dudley later became the first Cavalier elected to the College Football Hall of Fame and the National Football League Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. All of our teams are on the road this week, with exception to the number two ranked Virginia men's tennis team. Brian Boland's squad will be looking for a three-peat as they host the National Indoor Tennis Championships starting Friday at Boar's Head. We'll be back next week with coverage of that tournament, along with more great stories from Virginia athletics. Until then, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.